Stoke City midfielder Eric Maxim Chupo Moing celebrates scoring his team's first goal during the English Premier League football match against Manchester United at the Bet 365 Stadium in Stoke on Trent on September 9. 2017 Eric Maxim Chupo Moing ended Manchester United's perfect start to the Premier League season as his first two goals for Stoke secured a 2-2 draw against Jose Mourinho's side on Saturday. Chupo Moing gave Stoke the lead before grabbing the crucial equaliser after Marcus Rashford and Romelu Lukaku had put United ahead. The Cameroon forwards' goals were the first United had conceded in four league fixtures this season and Stoke became the first opponents to deny them victory. A draw was enough to keep United on top of the table, ahead of Manchester City on goal difference. But the careless nature of the goals they conceded either side of halftime will be a concern for Mourinho. Stoke summer signing scored on 43 and 63 minutes with Rashford equalising with a lucky involuntary header on the stroke of halftime before Lukaku's fourth goal in his many United appearances gave them a lead that lasted for just six minutes. Stoke threatened first as Chupo Moing chased a chip over the United back four and Eric Bailey had to race back to make an important challenge to concede a corner. And United looked sluggish again moments later as they failed to defend a punt down the middle by Jack Butland which was collected by the darting Jess Rodriguez. He found himself in the clear but had to shoot from a tight angle and fired past the far post. United took the sting out of Stokes' early attacks and had some promising possession of their own but they had a further scare in the 18th minute. Jordan Shakiri hit a shot from distance for Stoke on 27 minutes and United goalkeeper David De Gea did well not just to save it but hold on to the ball. Butland made a smart save at the other end from Rashford with Lukaku flagged offside as he chased the rebound. After a largely scrappy first half in which Stoke more than held their own, they claimed the lead two minutes before the break, and founded the goal was made by two former United players with Darren Fletcher angling a pass to the right and Mame Doof delivering a dangerous cross for Chupo Moing to sneak ahead of Bailey and tap home. But the lead lasted for just three minutes with United pulling level in first half stoppage time. Henrik McEater Jan's corner from the left was headed towards goal by Paul Pogba before striking Rashford on the head and beating Butland. Stoke appealed for offside but replays proved their complaints were unfounded. Early in the second half, Shakiri twisted his way past two United defenders wide on the right but his angled cross drifted beyond the far post. And 12 minutes into the half United were ahead as Stoke became architects of their own downfall. Stoke City defender Kurt Zoma C. Shields the ball from Manchester United midfielder Henrik McEater Jan R. As Stoke City striker Mame Baramdouf L. Looks on during the English Premier League football match between Stoke City and Manchester United. On September 9, 2017. Joe Allen squandered possession to Matteo Darmian. He found McEater Jan and the Armenian's fine pass picked out Lukaku, who was played onside by Eric Peters. Butland made a smart save from the Belgian's initial shot but could not stop him pouncing on the rebound to score. Stoke were denied an equaliser on 62 minutes by a fabulous save from De Gea who reacted brilliantly to tip Jess's header over the crossbar. But from the resulting corner the hosts would not be denied as Phil Jones lost his footing at the far post, giving Chupo Moing a free header that he buried from a Shakiri corner. With nine minutes remaining, United missed a glorious chance to restore their lead as Lukaku met a cross from substitute Anthony Marshall but lifted his shot from six yards over the crossbar and in stoppage time Butland pulled off an important save to spare teammate Kurt Zelma the embarrassment of an own goal after he got his head to a United corner.